question? Okay, uh, Matthew, Matthew Maximize, uh, and this is Gloria. Am I supposed to wait for something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, she is the relationship person, and don't be surprised I'm bringing her on this uh, talk, because, you know, my channel is all about uh, photography, my um, philosophy is about life, humanity, and then um, the Christian faith. Like I said, relationship is very key, and so uh, there's one important topic that I feel a lot of folks have been running away from, and that's because it's quite sensitive, and we are not like the final authority. All right, so um, what do you think about personal space in a relationship? I see, permit me to say, most of the uh, interpersonal relationship as opposed to you know, lead to marriage. So whatever we say in the confines of um, courtship will the result you tell in your marriage. So what do you think of personal space? Because some people think that or have reason that when two are coming together to become one, why do they need space? I mean one. It's like <laughs> I'm telling my hand, guy, go and rest. I don't want to use you for a while. I, I think but is that normal? Well we're Christian. You're a Christian, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am a believer and then I like to start everything from God's word, mm -hmm. right? The reason why I so much believe that there should be personal space, even in what we call oneness in a relationship, there should still be personal space. Because in the beginning, God made man, that's man, both male and female, together, right? Okay. They made, he made us to be unique, he made us to be whole, he made us to be independent. I mean, so you should have that your own life first, that space of your own first, right? Then when you come together to be in a relationship with somebody and then it now leads to marriage, there shouldn't be, there should still be that space you have for your own self, right? Uh, just like having a relationship with God, you have a relationship with God first before you meet somebody else to have a relationship. You shouldn't automatically just swallow up your space with God, right? Okay, yeah. It has yes. to, yeah, it should, that, that should actually have its place. So, and also, like we were talking the other day, space in a relationship, it gives you this, and the thing is, you can't have personal space if you don't have what your life is all about, hmm. right? You have to be doing something before you even maybe you meet this person, right? So there should be a meaning your life should have before you join somebody else. So hmm. that's why that. <laughs> so that's why that personal space should be there to give you this allowance. If you don't have that kind of space, the person you are in, you are in relation, you won't even be proud of you. I mean, you, I mean. Okay, I think we have to put specifics to this. Personal space <laughs> and uh, physical space, like. Uh, Babe, on Tuesday, I like to do, uh, I like to reevaluate my business, the growth and the downsides and all. And between the hours of this and that, we're not, not that we're still couple, but I will need that space uninterrupted. Is that what we're talking about, right? If you are going to give that kind of example, you need that space uninterrupted, it mustn't be because you want it, because you've been in practice all over the or your years of being alone before mm -hmm. the person. Yeah, it has to be at least you take the other person into consideration, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And then don't just be so rigid about it. It must be Tuesday from 3 a.m. or to 5 p.m. or something from this time to this time. No, 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 no. You're no longer alone, you mm. get. So the person also should be able to understand. Your significant other should also understand. Significant other. Yeah, should also understand that, okay, this time to this time has been like uh, a routine for me. But if it's not convenient to this person in a particular week, you should also be flexible enough to change it. Okay, flexible. And and again, I, I think this this um, um, what was it called now? This personal time. Um, I, I think it's gender not balanced, unbalanced. Let me use Why? that word. <laughs> um, you, you know, in my single years, uh, or my court, court, courtship year, I've kind of discovered that when a woman tells you she needs space alone, sometimes. Doesn't literally, space. <laughs> space. <laughs> literally, if you let her go as a guy, you're in trouble. Okay. Like, you're in trouble. <laughs> Everything I say, don't take it word for word. Like, that's, that's when you're, I need you more to be that. I'm like, I'm trying to be obedient. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you know, But for a guy, when, when a guy says that, he's kind of objective. He's clear about that, right? Yes. And uh, couples will usually collide at points like that because someone is not voicing out how he or she's feeling at that time. Like, Let's say me for example, I'm, I'm just in, I just woke up, I woke up one day, I'm just in that mood mm -hmm. where I just want to be left alone. Any, any noise around me, I just don't even want to pay attention to it. Ah. And any wrong move from your woman becomes an issue. You, you guys start picking fights. Then 
is you. Okay. It's not her. Yes, no, we're not trying to pick who is wrong. We're not even saying who is wrong here, okay. right? Not at all. <laughs> we're not doing the wrong blame game here. No, 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 no. We are, we're just saying how it is. Okay, you can you can wake up one morning. I also say to myself that sometimes I can wake up and be like, I don't want to talk to anybody. And this thing falls on the part of the female gender more, right? You cannot want to talk to anybody just like that. It, not even in the morning. It happens any time of the day for ladies. Any time of the day, especially that time of the month. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It happens. I don't want to talk to anybody, blah, 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 blah. But then you shouldn't allow the fact that you're a lady. That feminine gender thing that, okay, says it's normal. You should not allow that to control you as a human being. Mm. Yeah, there should be like a strong will that's over that feminine thing, that mood swing thing they used to talk about. You have control over that. Okay, there should be a way you can suppress it, even if not entirely, but you can suppress it a little bit. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> strong will. Uh, let me let me hold, let me hold that for now. Why? Time. You get why? <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, when I was talking the other time, I, I did recall that when I gave the instance, let's say, about me, yeah? Mm. I think when that has occurred with me and my spouse for a while, then my spouse understood that when he's like this in the morning, then he needs his personal space. Because even I, for a guy, I do, sometimes I don't know why that is like that. And I cannot call it mixed swing because I cannot feel mood move, move swing is feminine. I'm sorry to say, apologies for all It's not feminine, right. it's for everybody. We understand. That thing that happens is mood swing. <laughs> Alright, and, and then see, amidst all of that, if I am allowed to be by myself, you know, quietness, eventually I find light or reasons why. Or sometimes, eventually I find my way, in, especially in that morning, eventually find what the issue is. Or I find a way to either play music or just find things I find interesting to do, pick a book or something, or just boil water, take coffee just to or just run one or two exercises physical exercise and then that, that gets me in shape and then back and last time we spoke i think uh, i mentioned the uh, privacy phone phone privacy then back account and several that yeah 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 okay what, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sensitive matter very sensitive okay I'm going to give out a disclaimer, right? This is not like something you should just hold on to. Oh, this is like the highest thing, blah blah. No, 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 no. I'm just saying my own personal, my own personal what, um, opinion. opinion rather, my own personal opinion about phone and stuff. What has worked for me and my relationship, and what I think it should be, right? So from the onset, there should be trust. From the onset, there should be trust. And wherever any kind of um, mistrust comes in. Any kind of activity that is oh fishy something like that. That's where maybe the others for me or my yeah my signal other is now trying to oh I don't trust this person anymore. I want to check the phone or something like that. But I think and I believe and what has worked for me is that in a relationship there should be privacy. If you truly truly trust this person, there should be privacy enough to allow the other person just feel relaxed in this relationship thing mm. and not be so oh, uptight I want to don't touch my phone don't do this don't do this no you should feel relaxed that this person trusts you but you should also not misuse it okay and then go ahead and do stuff outside and then they'll make the person you know, not be happy when the person finds out to get yeah, you're saying too many things in a few sentences please yeah. see is relaxed <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, that's just where it is, right? That's why. Alright, okay. <laughs> we need to have um, this one and stop this video. Who knows? So, um, first, you should be trustworthy, of course, as a partner. Yeah. Then, number two, you should also trust your partner because it's the foundation of your relationship. So that, because if you mistrust your partner, then you, give, you allow room for that partner not to get comfortable in the relationship. Yeah. They start getting all shaky and shitty mm -hmm. and all of that. Okay, well, uh, okay. Now, I, I, I would have spoken up okay. street to street, man to man. Okay. Now, the thing is, man, why don't you want your woman to check your phone? What are you hiding? Okay. <laughs> Let's agree that you're hiding something. And that thing is not that you have another woman. Touch your so what are you hiding? No, there could be other things. Like, let me see. I remember when I was in when back then in my school. Somehow, I happened to occupy a, an office where I counsel people. Mm -hmm. I know for guys like me, I, I didn't know I was you know good to look on. I was pretty young, and then maybe the way I um, welcome, I welcome people, or I was welcoming. I had lots of young ladies, especially, want to say things to me and say, "Don't get it wrong. They don't meet me in my room." We are usually meeting in the fellowship or around the fellowship because I'm always going there to either read or meet with one or two persons. Mm -hmm. So, 
or sometimes when you do take a walk, because I don't like to sit in one position, just take a walk and get them out. And then sometimes these people, because um, but why this is very important is this: I had a roommate who was also very close to me, very close. People who would want to hear my counsel or who chat with me, yeah, they are careful that my roommate at that time does not have information to what they are sharing with me. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, it was the beginning of putting password on my phone. Not because he would check, but we were free. He was always looking at my phone, but I didn't want him to get access to any of that information. Mm -hmm. You understand? Of course, we are not hiding anything from each other, but because of that reason. Mm -hmm. And then, in fact, at some point, one of the ladies told me that, ah, please, this I want to say, I don't want this person to hear. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I'm not thinking, well, if I'm married to Do, I wouldn't want to put myself in a, very, in a danger where my spouse would not be aware. Because, see, your spouse needs to be aware of major things happening in your life. If anything yeah. goes wrong with you, she's the one that will... Why do they say family is like your final, final defense line? Because people on the outside may not appreciate what you're doing. Your family should praise you, should be your, your bedrock. So if you have a secret account somewhere, please make sure if you die or anything happens to you, make sure the money doesn't just waste. Your wife needs to know where the account is, you know, something like that. So I'm just thinking, yeah, there could be things you want to hide, a surprise, something, something. And then I, I don't know how to make them. They will just know you're hiding something. They may not be able to tell what it is. But women, I salute thee. So, about phone, what are we hiding? Like, why can't your partner have access to your phone? Or, I mean, why? And then I'll talk about one thing very, very key. And I feel that that question should go to those that have things to hide. Okay. Yes. If you don't have anything to hide, in fact, part of the fingerprint options on your phone should be one of your, your, spouse. your spouse's own. Because maybe the reason why you are passwording your phone is for external persons. persons and not the one we didn't get. So you shouldn't hide anything from your partner. and. In addition to that, because you are not hiding anything, doesn't mean your partner should not give you that respect and that privacy you need. You are not hiding something. There's this feeling of control you have over your life when you know that nobody is policing you around. Nobody is just checking every time and just making you feel like you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Every time, let me see your phone. Every time, let me see your phone. And I get tired, even if I'm not doing anything. You get. So as partners, you should trust yourselves. And if one person is misusing that trust, then it's not your fault. Oh, okay. If that person is misusing checking your phone, should, should, should we just put extra password or what? <laughs> no, think about it. Don't put extra password. I feel like the reason why the person is always checking and always checking is because the partner is always seeing something that will bring him or her back, back. to come and check again. <laughs> to go and check if he's still there or if more has added. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh. you, the owner of the phone, should reevaluate. What you are doing with your life that is making him or her coming to check every time. Okay. And always complain about the same thing. All right. Yeah. Very, very important. Uh, I must add this. Um, see, relationships are, as I said before, is very hard work. And I don't mean this to scare you. If, if you're not ready for the hard work, don't, don't go on it. <laughs> love is costly. <laughs> love is costly. I'm trying. It's very costly. And, uh, but then, people are paying. Of course, they're paying the price. <laughs> Because this, this, this is it. It's, it's, it's hard work because these are two people coming from two different backgrounds. For instance, I am Matthew. I have to pick that name just so that I can suit the global market. But my local name is Babatunde. I'm a Yoruba boy, Nigerian for that matter. And I was born and bred in Lagos Island, Isaliko. It's like a ghetto. And my bringing is quite different. And I'm getting engaged to someone who lives in, who is born and bred in the UK, but black, Af black of course, and African. African American, I'm sorry, a British versus African American, <laughs> African English. You English. understand what I say. Okay, so different on bringing about um, money, how to save um, our values, um, government, what what we all know about our government policies and all, and all of that. We have so much to settle. Or maybe I should just let the lady go. I should settle for someone who also grew up where I grew up, so that we will quickly work on our difference because the difference would be little. You know, cause I mean, settling all of that, and for for example, let's say I'm someone who, because of that difference, I just don't see reasons to check another person's phone. Like I just don't see reasons to. Do you understand? And that person grew up where she he just wants to to keep herself happy because she's bored because on her own phone. True, be told. I met someone like that. Yeah. They just want to pick up Matt, Matthew, your phone. They just check into your gallery. They want to even check your Instagram page and people will follow. They want to see because they know that you are you're probably an interesting person. And they want to check all your screenshots. I remember that, yes. Check all your screenshots. They know your phone. Your phone is fine. And then along the way, they start meeting things, you know, that are probably way back and all of that. Now, I think the issue is this. 
Once your partner finds something that is he or she is not comfortable about, ask. Communication is key. Assumption is very wrong. Mm. Assumption is very wrong. Ask me. If I tell you that it's not what it is, just believe me. Because see, once you mistrust and you find evidence, then I'll say, if your mind cannot be a relationship, you may have mm. to leave that relationship. There are no two ways. Don't, don't fight it. I, I, I don't know if I've seen something yeah, right, yeah. because don't say, I'll, I'll be it forever, I'll go take care of it in the future. Yeah, true. Some people can stay to take care of that, but some cannot dare. Yeah. Some cannot dare. Um, because, like uh, I've said it one time, that um, different stroke or different heart, in other words, what works in our relationship may not be what works in your relationship. So, you must find out what works for you. Sure. Relationship is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's not hard, really. Oh, okay, okay, that's something I'm not saying. Maybe just my perspective, okay. Relationship is not hard. Just like when people say money, finding money is hard, money is difficult, business is hard. If you take it hard, it's going to be very hard for you. Mm. Yeah, it's the understanding you have about it, with the mindset you carry into it. Like, I've been hearing stories that oh, marriage is so difficult, marriage is so difficult. I watched a movie before the lady got married. The father and the mother, they were just blasting on her head as she was going for war. Like, the mother tie wrap her. <laughs> I was really just sh shaking the whole house and she was like, am I going to fight or something? So it's not hard really and I always proclaim and declare my marriage is not difficult. Proclaim and declare. My marriage is not hard. What I'm seeing in society is not what is obtainable in my marriage. Oh, Mine is different. Yeah. Oh. Mine is blissful. Amen. God made it so. Amen. The situation of marriage is beautiful. So my marriage is very, very beautiful. My relationship is blissful mm -hmm. and all of that. So like you that. carry the mindset that, oh, this thing is so hard. My, the, my man is not that going to understand me, I'm so complex, I'm difficult, complicated, everything is going to be happening that way. So really, people, people have that kind of serious mindset. <laughs> yeah, so, ah, issues upon issues every day, you must be quarreling. If you don't quarrel the person, you don't know if the person is calm or the person is pretending. Mm. The marriage person does it's everything. true, yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard that, I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> so really, really, it's not, it's not difficult. Principles, laws, understanding, you know how we say it. That thing is scary. You people know. don't understand it. It's scary. You know how I'm going to say I can't talk without calling principles. Okay? <laughs> please, 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 don't mention principles yet. Hold on. Hold on. Let's check. Let's, 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 okay, for maybe for lawless people like me, I feel principles, rules, <laughs> laws, all those things, they cage you. And, but however, yeah, because of my dealings with photography, and we have rules of photography, it's one of the things that have guided my work well. Now, I, I, I look, I, I can say I'm more of an artist than a mere photographer because of those rules. I've obeyed them thoroughly and I see them come to play reality and I look like a creator. It's all so beautiful, blissful. Now, your creative part now works when you now can combine all the rules or obey the rule and live above the rule. So you're not boxed. So the rules just guide you to mm. now become who you would become. Yes. You see yeah, that play? Sure. You see that play? The thing is, principles, right, are not there to control your, like, oh, yeah, like a robot or so, right? Principles, principles, the laws are never going to change. They'll just evolve with civilization. Evolve, yeah. Yes. Principles, laws in the Bible, and then what you guys call street sense. Mm. <laughs> they are there street. to guide you, right? Yeah. But then, you cannot carry the same principle, okay, principle of um, love, honor, celebrating your spouse and all. The way to happen in a relationship is different from the way to happen in this relationship. Mm. It's the same principle, the same law. But, but then different applications. Yeah, 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 different application to just how the grace of God works. Yes, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And they're talking about... Um, differences, how that, that can be hard work to settle. Please, let's not forget, because most times when we talk about the bad things, when we magnify it, it becomes bad, like you said. Yeah. Let's magnify the good things to see. When you were coming from your parents' house, there were some good things about you. There were some good things that you were indoctrinated with. And where she's coming to from her parents' house and from her life, background and experience, there are some good things she was also coming with. So those good things are supposed to accommodate one another. Like, for instance, remember one of the bad habits that I had very, very young yeah? I laugh at anything, everything. So it's not possible now. Maybe I've, I've not gone through fire. See, I, I may not talk about the experience now. This is for later. I've gone through some one of some of my worst nightmares. I laugh them away. Not not the laughter I may laugh. I laugh them away because the experience has taught me that worry, worry solves nothing. It even adds to your problem. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Gloria, what what would be your final um, what's that thing called? Random, random uh, <laughs> statement. Okay, well, the final thing I'm going to say to round up all we have said, and then we started from personal space, right? Yeah. Is that in all things, in all you do, just make sure that you have a personal relationship with God first. That will help you to be able to relate with your significant other. 
perfectly well you get even in the phone issue in the space confidence what you want to do with your life and all of that when you start from the standpoint of god first right there's a way he helps you he guides you through what you should do what you shouldn't do and how to understand your spouse more you get maybe some things he's not saying you are even hearing it before he says them because mm. you have <laughs> because you have a personal relationship with God mm. some things he's going through just like that thing you said waking up in the morning and don't just want to talk to anybody wants to have your space like you can be so spiritual that you will know it beforehand you get and then when that time when, when that thing happens you just be like okay I understand fine and then and you'll, be, you'll be very okay with it because your peace your happiness is not really directly from him mm. or from her your mm. peace and then your joy your happiness fulfillment is from another deep source yeah. <laughs> now all of these beautiful things go get it on her page <laughs> yeah, gloria Adaiku. I, I'll, i'm dropping the link below she she's all stuffed up with all of relationship and god how that god is the help and i like to say that if we stretch this topic you know that we'll have a lot of things to say you'll get a lot of comments now once you drop your comment comment section below that will go a very long way ask questions let it be if it is controversial let's Let's see what we can talk about. You understand? My name remains Matthew Matimais. Don't forget to press the subscribe button below and <laughs> so that when any video drops, you <laughs> subscribe button should be by this side, right? Uh, no. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, this by side. this <laughs> side. Then you like the video. <laughs> yes, like the video. Like it so that the next person is going to see it. Thank wow. you so much. I love you guys. Say, say, tell her we love her because we are, we are love here. I love you too. Damn. Bye.